Welcome. Sure. Well, well, 
it's, it's, it's not, not like we can get lost, lost right? right? We're, We're not, not leaving, leaving the ski area, area after, after all. all. We, we still should hurry, hurry before it gets dark. dark. Are you serious? 
this is no place to be around like that. Look out. You don't want to go too far. What are you guys doing? Oh, 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 I have come 
to fill no promises. Yes, yes, I have I come, come to, guide to guide you. I apologize for the amount of time I would require you to prepare. prepare. This, this is, is the, the hollow, hollow forest, forest, the closed, closed realm, realm, created by, by the TV, TV world. The world, world of the human, human mind. mind. It would, it would seem, seem that Amaru left, left us. She shut, shut herself, herself in here. In here. I do, I do not know, know everything, but, but as, as you know, know, she was, she was searching, searching for my memory, and I by opening her heart, heart to you, she finally regained that memory. That memory. It, would it would seem, seem that, that what she found was, was not what she had been hoping for. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Hold on. What, what is this all about? Marie? You mean Marie-chan? The one who was with you? I remember her! That fashionable girl with the hat, right? What do you mean, she's here? And what was that about her memory? Emmy-chan has amnesia? We are inside the TV right now, correct? A missing person ending up in the TV. Don't tell me. I mean, we put an end to all that. I do not think this is the same situation. I believe Marie's disappearance is unrelated to the kidnapping incident you all were following. She was not taken away by someone. Rather, she came here of her own volition. She willingly came here. Does that mean Marie-san has the Persona ability as well? No, Marie is originally a resident of this side. What kind of girl were you showing around town? Hold on, this is inside the TV, right? Then, aren't there shadows in here? You're kidding me. That means... He's right. If she were to be attacked by shadows... I will not say that she is not in danger. However, the same goes for you. If you are to proceed ahead and search for Marie, you must have adequate resolution. The path ahead will be relentless. You alone will not be able to reach her. If you wish to see her again, then it is my role to help you. And to do so, I decided to invite everyone who has accompanied you on your journey here. I see. I was wondering why you didn't bring just our leader here. Now I understand. You're giving us all the information and letting us choose what to do from here. You aren't here to stop us. Exactly. One more thing. Well, this isn't going to affect whether or not I plan to help, but you are also like Marie-san, a resident of this side? The human mind contains more than shadows. I believe you all witnessed that in your last battle. Are you talking about those things that came out of Namatame and Adachi-san? Well, they were different from the shadows we know about. It does not matter how you choose to interpret it. What you see and what you believe are up to you. I know that you can supply yourselves with answers, as I know that you have been capable of coming this far. One more thing. As I just said, the Hollow Forest was originally a closed realm. It is not the case now, but in time, this place will seal itself again. In other words, we can't come in and out of here forever? Exactly. It would seem that little time remains before the Hollow Forest completes itself. Once that time has passed, this place will be closed forever, and you will never be able to visit here again. If that happens, Marie's existence will be entirely expunged from your memories. 
erase our memories. Hey, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, she's just gonna up and vanish from our heads? It is exactly as I said. The closing of this forest marks the fact of Marie's erasure. Any memories you have of Marie will disappear, and you will return to your peaceful days. No! This doesn't make sense! I merely have come to fulfill my promise. What you do is up to you. I have made a link from the television in the mountain cabin to this world. That is the only conduit through which you may reach this place. Huh? So we can't get here through the TV and Juness? Exactly. This world and your world screens are linked place to place. It is a fact. Hmm. I can't smell the other places from here. It really isn't connected. I am repeating myself, but it was Marie who shut herself in this world. There is no need for you to think that you must risk your lives for her. I am sure she would not wish that either. Please, treasure the normal lives you have. That is what Marie would want. Now, if you would excuse me. Hey, hey wait! Uh, please? It's a TV. The same type as the one in the cabin. This must be the exit, like the ones Teddy has. So now what? What else? That Marie chick is in here, right? If she's in danger of being attacked by shadows, then we've got to get in there and find her. Hold on. It might not be that simple. Let us leave for now, at any rate. We cannot blindly run ahead so suddenly. Yeah. Plus, we're totally not prepared, right? If we're gonna do it, let's get ready and take this on full force! Ow! Ugh, who was pushing me? Shut it. There's eight of us and it's a tiny frickin' TV. Oh! I dented my head in. Anybody wanna touch it? Uh, no. What are you guys clowning around for? Come on, get up! We got a meeting to hold! We do? What are we gonna talk about? Oh, uh, I don't know. But we always have one, right? I guess she just wanted to be the one to say it. Yeah, it would really mess with my head if Chia Senpai was coming up with good plans. Shut up! That's rude, you know! Still, that was a surprise. You know that whole Marie being from the other side thing? Wait, so the TV world is the world of the human mind, huh? It's not really sinking in, though. I couldn't even tell. No, it couldn't have been helped. That sort of thing isn't something that can be easily explained to others. It would be like the first time I met all of you. The issue here is Marie-san's motive. Why would she risk her life to shut herself in a place like that? I could see it if she was thrown in like we were, but why would she do that to herself? Yeah, that blue chick did say Marie lost her memory. Maybe she remembered something that made her do that. Hey, I just thought of something. If the world she's in closes, she'll disappear from our memories, right? Isn't that the same as dying? What? Well, wait. You mean sh she's trying to? I don't know, but it just feels that way to me. She wants to kill herself and make us forget about her? She's erasing her own existence? I think Emi-chan's like me. I was really worried when I couldn't figure out who I was. When I finally found out I was a shadow, it was traumatizing. I don't think Emi-chan's a shadow, but I think she feels the same way I did. That she shouldn't exist. 
Teddy. Yeah, I think that too. I can kind of understand how she feels. Not having anyone know the real you, being alone all the time. Even when someone's friendly to you, you feel like there's something wrong. If I didn't meet all of you, I might have thought the same as her. Same shit with me. I was always being misunderstood, so I toughened up and started biting back. I was scared that no one would accept the real me if I ever showed it to them. And in the end, I couldn't even admit it when I was showing myself. <laughs> Pointless. Yeah, we're all like that. Everybody's suffering in some way. Yes, but we were able to change. No matter how much we hated ourselves, we were able to face it and accept it. Because we had dear friends. Yeah, I know now. There's nothing to be afraid of. We're the only ones that can save Marie-chan. If she's really thinking the same way we were, we have to go stop her. That's that, then. We should find out exactly what we're getting into first. It's better to know anything than to go in knowing nothing. It'll at least make things easier on us. We should devote a day to it. Teddy, Rise-san, can you scan that world? From the usual spot, of course. The rest of us should rest up to prepare for the exploration. If there are shadows in there, then we can't avoid fighting them. All right, let's do this! <laughs> oh, this takes me back. Even though it hasn't been that long since we finished the other stuff. Yeah! All right! It's super sniffy time together with Rise-chan! <laughs> My super ultra mega hyper uber teddy nose can pick up even the slightest scent! But this skill is not without its drawbacks. After three minutes, I get just an ungodly amount of snot. Ew! Hey, don't damage the bear before showtime. At least he's actually useful in a fight. How rude! What do you mean, at least? Let's regroup at school, okay? It's cold. Oh, well, let's start the meeting. First, allow me to report. Just in case, I've checked for missing people in the local jurisdiction to see if anyone may have wandered in there. Zero results. There are no missing person requests either. It seems that this place really doesn't have anything to do with our previous case. Hey, no fair! You said to rest, and yet you went and did research. But I went and checked the newspaper, too. I looked for any news of missing people, but there wasn't any. I also tried asking our suppliers and customers if there was anything going on, but there aren't any rumors. Ditto. I asked around at work, but didn't come up with anything. You can't underestimate the housewife network. Yeah, I tried talking with some former punks, but didn't get Jack. Considering that none of us could find evidence, perhaps it's safe to say that no one has wandered in accidentally. But more important is whatever Teddy and Rise-san found. How did your search go? I can feel that hollow forest really far away, but that's it. I couldn't sense Emi-chan's presence at all. That place, it's big. I'm glad we didn't just jump in there without making sure we were ready for it. The Hollow Forest, huh? Is that place also affected by the mind of the person inside? If that's the case, then did Marie-chan make that area? Hollow Forest... We heard that phrase before. In the last battle, right? 
I was wondering the same thing. Amano Sagiri mentioned it. The place that gave birth to those who answer the desires and wishes for lies of humans. Was that it? Hold on. Are you saying that the image in Marichan's mind is the same force that created that monster? What's going on here? Hell? Who is she exactly? Our objective is to save her, but it doesn't seem like things will end there. If she is related to those monsters, then we need to do more research. What is she trying to do? Who is she really? It seems we have no choice but to go see her and find the truth directly from her. Are you thinking that you're getting us involved in your personal problems? Nobody's thinking that, buddy. That's right! I'm burning up! Arrgh! Right, let's do it. We don't know what she's bummed about, but we'll save her. Wait a sec! If I come and save Emichan, that's like an arrow straight through the heart, right? What should I do? I'm not ready for this. Dude, I can't tell if you're being a creeper or not. I'll do my furry best!
I'll do a quick scan. Electricity will work. Sharpener! Three enemies down! Our <laughs> enemy... It will end here!
Give me a sec. I'll do a quick scan. Electricity will work. Soda. We can my turn. Places, everyone. And action. Let's do this in style. Yeah, go, go, go. So that one's weak to darkness. Soda! You're on a roll, Senpai. I'm a shoot, it, Senpai! Go for it, guys. Hang in there. Underestimate me? This is what you get.
Mikazuchi. Enemy down. Never it. I couldn't do it. Now to. Yes. Serves them right.
to wind. Blow him away! Use it, scan! It's weak to wind. This'll be a breeze. Four enemies left. Don't give up! Give me a sec. I'll do a quick scan. It's weak to darkness. Yeah. <laughs> 
Go! Beat him up! So 
good. It's showtime. Are you ready? Yes, but let's finish them. Go! Beat them up! Senpai's seriously cool. to darkness. It's my turn! It's showtime! Are you ready? 
Like I say no. Go! Beat him up! Senpai's amazing! Senpai. Weak to dark. Soda. Now's my turn.
There's somebody over there! Who's there? That voice. Marie-chan? We've been looking for you. What's with that getup? Something wrong? Stay back. That's right, Marie-chan. We're all here to take you back home. Come on, let's go. I have no home. You don't get it. Dude, that eye. Can't believe it. Why'd you come? Why? Marie-chan, listen. We don't know what memories have come back to you or how bad they are. But nothing good's gonna happen if you lock yourself away in here. We know we're being meddlesome, but we want to help you. Meddlesome. That's one word for it. You thought I was in danger, didn't you? That I might get killed by the shadows. It'd be better that way. This is a grave. My grave. I'm going to die here. Yeah, Senpai's right. We won't let that happen to you. Shut up! You don't know anything! Emmy-chan? Emmy, Marie, neither of those is my name. I remember. I remember everything. My real name is Kasumi no Okami. You guys fought Kunino Sagiri and Amino Sagiri, right? I'm the same as them. I'm your enemy, one of the ones who covered your town with fog. Marie-chan is our enemy? No way! You serious? Kunino Sagiri and Amino Sagiri were those. I remember them too. They're those guys that came out from Adachi Baby and that Namatame guy. That's what you remember? That's right. 
sneaking into the human world, sensing the will of man. My role was to inform the Sigiri what the wish of the people was. That's why I'm the only one of them that looks human. Even without my memory, my body fulfilled my role. In your words, I'm a spy. You were spying without knowing it? That's so cruel. Do you understand now? Plus, I'll tell you something good. If I don't die, then your world will disappear. So, don't come chasing me. Marie-chan! Our world will disappear. What does she mean by that? We know that she's one of those monsters, like the ones that came from within Adachi-san and Namatame. She may have a valid reason for shutting herself in this area. Now's not the time for deduction! She is trying to kill herself! We can't leave her like this! Yes. Either way, we cannot leave her be. Let us hurry. Good kill. Kanji, your defense has been lowered. Do a quick scan. Electricity will work. Go get him. Go, go, go.
one. Don't let it get away. Sora! Someone finish this one off! No problem. It'll be over. I couldn't do it. There's <laughs> It ain't going down! Soda. Let's go. immune to darkness. I'm 
ready to go. Okay, understood. Is everyone ready? Get set. Yes, let's finish them. Go! Knock them out! That's not good. Darkness won't work. Reset scan! Wind will work on it. Three enemies left. You can win this! All yours! You hit the enemies. Yo, mind if I... This is it! Dead meat! Not too shabby, Kanji. It got back up. Defeat it fast. It got back up. Defeat it fast. Now Tokun's acting weird. Quick, help her! Oh, it's weak to physical attack. Three enemies left. <laughs> you can win this. Huh, that was awesome. Not bad for Kanji. Oh, it's weak to physical attacks. Persona! It's not working. Yukiko Senpai's acting weird. Persona! <laughs> On a roll, Senpai. Two defeated. What? Go for it, guys. Hang in there.
There, got it! <laughs> it's so cute! Persona! You hit the enemy's weakness! We can at it! I couldn't defeat it! Let's do this now, Toe! Understood! Right. Brute force isn't my style. Ha! More power for me!
I can't find you an opening. Light won't work. Plan B, anyone? Senpai, your defense has been lowered. You can win this. Just don't use fire on it. Senpai, your agility has been lowered. It's over. Don't tell me it's not working. Your defense has been lowered. Soda. Senpai, your agility has been lowered. Let's go. Uh, it's quite tenacious.
your weaknesses. <laughs> it's so... Our moment okay. is understood. Let's end this. So persistent. Kanji Kun. Yeah, I know. Look at you. That's what comes of underestimating me. Now, what could you be weak to? It's weak to. <laughs> this will be easy. Last one. Go for That's it. That's what comes of underestimating me.
Why do you come? Why? I told you I'm your enemy. That you don't need to bother with me. Why did you come this far? Thank you, but it won't do you any good. I'm tired. I... I just want to end it all. Shut up, you know what that means. You think we're just gonna lie down and let you do that? Marie-san, please listen. Even if you are one of those creatures, that's still no reason for you to end your own life. The two Sagiri have been defeated. That means you're... Free? Is that what you think? That's not true. I'm not like you. I don't have freedom. I told you already. If I don't die, then your world will disappear. Our role was more than to simply find out the wishes of man. Our true role is to control the fog and bring that wish to fruition. Control the fog? Don't you think it's strange that the fog never went away? That it lasted for months? The Sagiri created the fog. And I absorbed it. The fog that changes people to shadows. Well, wait, then the reason the fog cleared was... That's right. When Amino Sagiri was defeated, the fog covering your town was no longer needed. Then I heard a voice. And all the fog flowed into me. The fog isn't gone. Even now, it's raging inside me. No way. So the fog isn't gone after all that? It's just in you now? When my mind is completely overpowered by the fog, I will disappear. Taking the fog and the hollow forest with me. I am... a being destined for non-existence. That's the memory that came back to me. The world will be saved. Yes. Now we know the true reason why she hid herself in the hollow forest. Of course, I cannot agree with the conclusion she's drawing. Hell no! She's saying that we can only have world peace in exchange for her life? Screw that! That's why. That's why I left. Because there's no point in seeing you. We'll just hurt each other. It's okay. It's all okay. I've already made enough memories of my own. Fun. Happy memories. If you're not gonna leave now, then I'll have to make you leave by force. Please. Just understand. Damn it, why did it end up like this? What are we gonna do, partner? Okay, we're saving her! If we give up here, then why the hell did we even bother coming all this way? Yeah, we're not gonna let anyone else suffer from that fog. We have to do it. Oh, right. Right. Oh, yeah. I don't want you to suffer anymore. Why don't you understand? Senpai, we can't lose here. The peace we've earned shouldn't come at the cost of anyone's life. We cleared the world of the fog, and now we're getting rid of it for good. We're not gonna get through to her like this. Sorry, we're gonna have to whoop her ass first. We cannot back down here. We must get her to listen to us. This is our problem, too. We can't let Marie-chan be the only one to bear all of this herself. Here it goes. This is for your own good. That's it, no. uh. Whoa! Uh. Sona! Uh. Can 
Can you get up? Is that you, punk? Now are you gonna listen to us? Why? Why? It doesn't matter what happens to me. You're stupid. Hurting yourselves like that. If my death keeps you from being happy, what am I dying for? Don't say you're going to die. Don't worry, it'll be okay. I used to be just a shadow too. But even I could change. Emi-chan, you have to believe. <sighs> what good comes of belief? You save me, and your world is going to disappear. Is that what you want? That's what it means when you tell me you want me to live. <sighs> I look so stupid. Afraid of living off borrowed life. Afraid to disappear, thinking that maybe I could remember something and then I'd have a life worth living. It's funny. I remember now. I already have a role. And it's to disappear. I shouldn't have ever remembered. It would have been better if I'd never remembered. Marie-chan. No! What's wrong? That's right. There is no need for the truth. 
Ignorance is bliss. There will be no pain if you never try to find out. That voice! That's not Marie-chan! Is that what she meant by her mind being overpowered? Hey! Snap out of it! Uh, don't come near me! Go home! Please, just go home! All you losers! You just don't know when to quit! I never should have met any of you! Especially you! I hate you! Yeah, what he said! You really aren't true to yourself, are you? You need to work on your acting skills. Stop lying to me! It's not a lie. Everything in this world is the product of someone's mind. This place is yours. This tomb, and the flowers all over it. Your resolve to die is what created this scenery. <gasps> However, on the way here, we saw things that don't fit a grave. Juness and Sozai Daigaku signs, the bench on the hill, the electric poles, mirrors, school desks. It's all from the town, the home of the people you say you hate so much. What, you want us to bury you with all that stuff? If you like them that much, why don't you come see for yourself, huh? I have to die. Another way? Yeah, he's right. You don't have to go away forever. The only thing that needs to go is your fog. There's no way. If we waste any more time, the fog will take me over and be set free. If that happens, I won't be able to take my own life. I'll become a monster. Are you saying we should wait for Marie-chan to be controlled by the fog and then defeat her? Senpai, wait! I mean, it's still her body, right? If we fight the monster... Yeah. Uh, so what'll happen? I... I don't know, but maybe right now, y you might be able to. I'll put my mind to sleep before the fog overpowers it. Of course, the fog will then take over my body, but my mind will still be safe beneath it. The rest comes down to luck, I guess. Which will give out first, the fog or my life? That's one hell of a gamble. What are we gonna do? I'd rather not have to do that. But if there's no other way, then we'll just have to have faith that it'll work. Yeah, it's gotta be better than just sitting here and watching her die. She's not gonna die. We won't let her. This is our friend's life on the line. We can't fail now. Friends. Okay. I trust in you all, even if I do die. It would be a better way than letting the current situation continue. But, please, don't any of you die. It's coming! Get ready, everyone! Will this really work? Emi-chan won't die if we fight her? Marie-chan believed in us. We have to believe in her. All right. All right. Yeah. What good is it to learn the truth? You want me to throw away my worthless self-satisfaction in exchange for eternal suffering and despair? I don't need it. I don't need any of it. What's, What's wrong, wrong with, with turning, turning a blind, blind eye to suffering? suffering? I, I don't, don't want, want a truth full of pain. I want a peaceful lie. What is this feeling? It's like she's not even seeing us. 
suffering, denial, and rejection. She's denying everything. Be careful, Senpai. Normal tactics may not work. <laughs> I don't want to hear any... <laughs>
power to absorb the fog is going crazy. Careful, Senpai. She's sucking up everything. Persona. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's over. down. She'll get you if you do.
Did we do it? How is she, Senpai? She okay? No way. This can't be real. No, this can't be. We. Emmy Chan? Come on. You're such a sleepyhead. It's time to wake up, okay? Emmy Chan? No! This isn't happening! What did we do wrong? Emmy Chan, wake up! Don't die! Get, get, get off of me! Marie John? Thank goodness she's alive. Oh, I. That's right. Everyone gets to sleep once in a while, right? <laughs> Thank you. I think that's long enough for a moving hug. Shouldn't you let go now? Nope. I'm tired of moving. Enough with getting up. Good thing there's someone even I can hug. Hey! Here we go again. Why is it all our friends are like this? You know, there aren't a lot of people who can really mess with Risei-chan. Did you feel the Earth move, or was that just me watching these two? This isn't the time for stupid comments! What's going on?! Don't tell me! Is this like in the movies where once the bad guy's defeated, his evil fortress self-destructs? I'm sorry, I forgot to mention. I don't need to be in this place to die anymore, so it's gonna disappear. Why the hell didn't you say that sooner?! It's gonna take us with it! We're gonna die! We're all gonna die! Just get to the exit! Hurry! I forgot how tiny the TV here is. I feel like this has happened before. Are these really your friends? They're all so weird. It's your fault to begin with! The TV! That was never a television. The hollow forest has vanished because there's no more reason for it to exist. We did it! So, how does it feel to have your fate changed? Well, it feels weird. After all, I'm alive. <laughs> well, yeah. That's why we went all the way there and everything. Um, thank you for saving me, and I'm sorry. W what? Why are you looking at me like that? You... you just said sorry, didn't you? She did, very politely. Huh? Uh, it's just that you never seemed like the type who would say that. Huh? You... you stupid jerk! Fine, then! Forget it! I take it back! Oh, well... Listen to me! What the hell? What is with you people? You risk yourselves to save me? You don't get anything out of it! I don't understand you! 
Really? To be honest, we were hesitant at first. Learning that you were from the other side was kind of confusing. But to not save you just because of that? Oh, that's not how we roll. If we blamed things on someone else and looked the other way, nothing would change. You were in trouble and we saved you. That's all that counts. I don't understand you at all. If not knowing us bothers you, then you should start getting to know us. All of us want you to learn more about this world. Yeah, like Valentine's Day. Valentine? Ah, oh, so you don't know what that is either. Huh. It's an awesome day when a girl gives chocolate to someone she holds dear. Oh, and I already reserved Senpai. Whatever. No cheating. Reservation canceled. Why, you... That was quick. Well, let him get to it. Hey, it's clear outside! You're right. I need to do all the laundry. My back is killing me. Hey, how about we get some grub? Sounds good! On you, of course! Oh, stop expecting me to buy you lunch all the time! Yeah, I'm okay. Let's go. Everyone's waiting. Well, when I gave my body up to the fog, I thought I heard a voice. Um, what did it say? Humans don't want to know the truth. What they truly desire is a peaceful world filled with fog. Something like that, anyway. Huh? How should I know? But it's a familiar voice. The same voice I heard when you defeated Amano Sigiri and the fog flowed into me. Wait. Maybe not. I felt like it was my voice. Maybe it's something I said long ago? Oh well. The fog is gone. I probably just misheard it. <laughs> Scared you, huh? The weather's nice, there's snow all over. What more do we need? Oh, yeah. You ever been in a snowball fight, Marie-chan? Hmm. Hey, how are we gonna split the teams? Oh, what the? Hey, hey! I'm supposed to throw snow at him. Isn't that right? No! I don't want to lose again! Hold on! You have the eyes of a predator! The teams will be women versus men. Now begin! Oh, come on! Kanji, Teddy, what the hell, guys? Take this! Get him, Marie-chan! <laughs> Snowball skills. Well, I do feel a bit sorry for them. <laughs> Still, today's hero's gotta be Marie Chan. You go, Snowball Queen. <laughs> That's the wrong gender. It's heroine, not hero. Whoa, your skin is so pretty. Your complexion is amazing. Yo, can you see anything? The steam's covering all the good stuff. Oh. Hey, Kanji, up, up! Don't let me down now! Ah, oh, Ted, you punk, no. I'm done hey, with this! Cut it.
Sean, electricity here's a bad idea! Disgusting creeps! I hate you all! <laughs> You're back.